Well, it looks like uh, Dave is is still under the weather, thanks thanks to uh, COVID. Uh, we are joined uh, yet again with. Go ahead, Chad. Chug nasty. And and we have the keys to the video store yet again. Earlier, we were having some difficulties with Chad. I think he got lost in one of the Beyond sections, but uh, yeah, he's yeah, he's back now. I found the back room. <laughs> <laughs> We all love the back room. <laughs> <laughs> the back room. That's what she said. <laughs> it wasn't glory hole. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no donkey show. Hey, not a donkey show. <laughs> what do I go to a donkey show? Just Everyone can't look away. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on, fellas? Oh, oh, not much. much. Well, Chad, Chad I, huh? I said, we said not much at the same time. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, the usual, the usual, chilling, being dad, that kind of thing. That's 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 my life right now, as always. Yeah, it's a good time. So, Chad, what uh, what what did you have uh, in store for us this evening? It is your 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 turn for uh, topic. I just want to talk about the, the new Leatherface coming out Friday. Excellent. Let's do that. Indeed. The, I don't know. Like it looks it looks good, but at the same time, I'm torn kind of like the new Halloween. Yes. Evil so dies tonight. Evil, Evil dies tonight. tonight. <laughs> it has it has that same vibe, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, like bringing the original characters back to reunite them again, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah it's got the original. The the original woman from the the first like what the nineteen seventies one doesn't it? No, yeah. it's not actually her. I mean the character oh. maybe, but it's not yeah. her. She actually she passed away. Oh, but okay. it's, it's I think it's the it's the character. It's the character, but it's not the woman that actually. Yeah, that'd be impressive. She's she'd be old. Yeah, well, she's dead, so it'd be even more impressive. <laughs> All right, that'd be kind of weird. From beyond the grave. I mean, I'm sure we'll be. I'm sure we'll talk about it. Actual, we'll like, get to actually talk about the movie next week because we'll all watch it probably Friday night. Yep, oh, for sure. I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to them too. Oh, I love those fucking movies. I do I too. Love but like, even like Leatherface, like he doesn't just he doesn't look the same. Well, I mean, he definitely looks different. Oh, okay, well, r- real quick, like my friend showed me because me and a buddy of mine, we, you know, we're big horror guys and stuff, and we were discussing the new Texas Chainsaw movie. And he's like, I don't know about it. And I was like, yeah, I'm kind of excited about it. I mean, just as something, you know, it's a new, new leather face, like, you know, kind of a new feel, like something new, so, you know, favorite franchise, you know, got to check it out, even though they didn't really impress me with uh, the last movie they put out, but um, because leather face, that movie was not good. Um, not to be confused with the, I like, I like number three. Part three is good. It's one of my favorites. But they they put out that other leather face, and I just wasn't wasn't impressed. Um, but no, the thing about this new one is it was originally supposed to have a, a theatrical release, um, and they they went through two different directors. Um, if I remember correctly, the, the, the two different directors quit. Uh, they had to get somebody new. Whatever. When the movie was done. Um, there were like two or three screenings of it they did for like private screens of people and nobody liked it. That's why Netflix has it. Well, that sounds terrible. <laughs> I, right. I mean, uh, one or two things could happen. It could be pretty good or awful. Well, I mean, yeah. that's usually how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say it's very good because, oh yeah, I'm just saying Netflix track record. It, not to get off the subject, but I finally checked out Babysitter, like the sequel. Because I was just like, there's nothing, like, the sequel can't be that good, but the sequel was pretty good. It was all right. It wasn't as good as the first one, though. Yeah, I never no, saw I mean, yeah, no, no, it definitely wasn't at all. But I, it, it was pretty good because I didn't expect people to come back. Yeah. Right, the thing, yeah. Exactly. The main thing I like Netflix is about just, just like, their Japanese shit and, like, the Korean shit, because that stuff's dope. But everything else in there is just kind of, eh. Well, I've been binge-watching freaking Disenchantment, and I fucking love that movie now. I mean, show, show. Um. Yeah, I'm not a big. I, I tried to watch it. I'm not a big fan. But uh, but yeah, like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing, man. Like, sit watching the trailer for it and all that. Like, you know, I'm, I'm you know I'm I'm excited to watch it. But I 
after reading what I read earlier, like I, I don't really have the highest expectations. You know, I do for a lot of movies these days. It takes a lot to impress me anymore. Mm-hmm. Also, the Doctor Strange, Strange movie. Doctor yeah, I heard Strange. that wasn't bad, but I heard it was more like a scary movie type. Like, like. I mean, that's fine because it's supposed to be like the cosmic universe, and it's, it's supposed to be horror based, and it's fucking Sam Raimi, so. Yeah, it's kind of hard not to do the like Sam Raimi stuff. I was just never mm-hmm. a big, big Scream franchise fan. Like the first one was dope because it was different. Oh, the Scream of. movies. Yeah, well, it it made the most out of a lot of horror movies in a long time. One hundred twenty million, which is pretty damn good. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, I, I, I like I like the Scream movie. Well, I like Scream one and Scream four, and I'm told I'm really gonna like the new one. I haven't seen it yet. I so. loved four. I think four definitely got a bad rap when it came out. It didn't do well. It was so much better. Um, let's see here. Four was uh, when was that when they were in the barn or whatever? At some point, like Courtney Cox and Dave Arquette. Yes, uh, that's yep. That's the one with the barn, uh, and it's like the the okay. internet killer. It's like the internet thing. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of remember that one. I yeah, know. I like that. I think one. I saw that one, but I must have. Like that one was good. I liked it. Like if they would have just like had the fourth one be number two, and that's all they had were a couple of them. I've been okay with that because I didn't really care for two that much, and three was pretty meh, and right. four I liked. But oh yeah, yeah, three so three was like not violent, and it was like around the time where certain things were going on, where they were trying to like make. A violent movie, but not show blood kind of thing. Uh, yeah, there was a whole lot of shit going on with that one, and it was just like, dude, then why'd you even bother? Mm-hmm. Like, it just wasn't, you know, like I didn't. Wasn't, wasn't there I, a TV show or something like that at some point? Or? Oh god, what a horrible piece of shit that is! Yeah, there's like three or four seasons. <laughs> oh that yeah, show. they had a, they had a Scream TV show. Well, mm-hmm. it got a season two, and then it got canceled. It should have got like canceled. Or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember they uh, had that uh, Teen Wolf shit on there. I was like, the fuck, they made a Teen Wolf series? I turned it on one day, and I was like, nope, they sure didn't. Yeah, right. So <laughs> why bother? <laughs> like, why? Come on, man. You can't, you can't, you can't do it to Teen Wolf. You just can't. No, like, the Teen Wolf cartoon was dope, but that was about it. And that was back in the 80s, too. Mm-hmm. Wait, they had a Teen Wolf cartoon? Of course they did. Fuck Briefly. Yeah. Real. They, they made cartoons out of everything. That's why, I mean, that's why Toxic Avenger. Had you know the Toxic Avengers? Wait, wait, you know, what? Like, oh my god, I had no idea. Are you serious? You can watch some episodes. <laughs> no. Yeah, go on YouTube, like dude. Saturday morning cartoons oh. or some shit. Yeah. Holy shit, I'm, I'm watching. Yeah, I'm totally gonna see, watch that. You know, I just got, like, I just got the the Troma Now app today. I'm about to check that shit out here. Oh, nice. There's all kinds of good stuff on there. Hell yeah. I used to have it for a little while. I need to get that, check it out until I get bored with it. Oh yeah, uh, I heard about the Troma app. The Troma app should be interesting. Yeah, I'm yeah. looking forward to watching some shit later. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> Class yeah, tell me how that is because I it's actually might get shuttered since. Me up. Yeah, Terrifirmer was good shit. And Tales from the Crapper. Nice. nice. I I might get shuttered because you guys talk about it all the time. Like, fine, I'm freaking break down and get it. It's, it's 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 definitely worth the eight bucks a month, even if you only watch it like three times a month. I mean, you you can always find something on it to watch. I mean, you really can. I mean, the shows are good, the documentaries are good. Yeah, they got a lot uh, of yeah. shit on there. I mean, they've got everything from like classic horror movies to like you know old school Hammer films to like the newer stuff. Oh, okay. You well, know. you you had me at old school Hammer films because I've been dying to check out more Christopher Lee stuff. Yeah, they're, they're, they're Peter Cushing because Christopher yeah. Lee and Peter Cushing. Oh yeah, and then Vincent Price were also in movies together. All yep. three of them, they were like best friends. <laughs> or yeah, there's, just there's, the fact they were in movies all the time. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of uh, uh, Mario Bava stuff on there too. Cool. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm a huge, huge been, Vincent Price like fan. Lately, I'm watching like the old fucking Frankenstein's and Wolfman and shit. Nice. Dude, same. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, still, Boris Carlo. My Universal Monsters. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, Universal. Okay. 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 Speaking of that, so we can segue into that. How sad are you that the Universal Dark 
universe did not turn out because fucking uh, Del Toro is perfect for that. And the movie sucked. basically, well, no, I'm talking about the universe they were ma- they were going to make. It's just oh, okay. Well, I'll say it's, something. Else. It's, well, no, it's it's just the uh, the studio was fucking them around. I don't know. I think if they do anything that's supposed to be old school anymore, they're going to fuck it up. Like, I, I hate to say it, but I got a weird feeling that Rob Zombie's going to fuck up the monsters. I mean, true. But I will say, I yeah, like the curious, Invisible though. Man remake. I thought that see, was actually pretty good. See, that's, yeah. that's that was what I was getting ready to say. I, I couldn't even finish it. I was appalled. Oh. Yeah, like, I'm sorry, but the Invisible Man, if you go back and watch the original Invisible Man with Claude Rains, who was a great I mean, actor. yeah, you can't beat that, but what no. they were doing for it, I, they I made, enjoyed they it. They made him an abusive, rapist, fucking, like, husband. They, okay. they, made, they made the whole, like, it just, it wasn't, it, it was a fucking Lifetime movie. It wasn't a fucking horror movie. <laughs> it wasn't a horror movie. It was a fucking Lifetime movie. <laughs> But I mean, I mean, fucking they, they they made the Wolf Man. That movie was fucking boring as shit. But at least they did fucking yeah. somewhere close to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. The 2010s Wolf Man. You take that back. That movie's amazing. Amazing for a good nap. What? Yeah, I I'm don't hurt. Like it. I am hurt. Parts of it are cool. That movie. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not the only one that feels that way. Like I, I, I hadn't that seen it. Amazing. In- I hadn't seen it in forever, like like about a year or so ago. Uh-huh. When me and my girl were still together, and we had some friends over, and they're like, "Oh, we haven't seen that." I was like, "Oh yeah, let's check that. I haven't watched it in a while." Yeah, I forgot that I fell asleep in the theater watching it. Um, <sighs> it's like I mean, we're we're all it's in the a- living room watching it, and everybody's just like, "All right, I'm going to bed." I agree like, to I disagree. I, I love that movie. I fell asleep in the theater <laughs> was watching Expendables three. Oh, sh- Wait, the expendable why well, those movies aren't supposed to be that great. I think they're just like, you know, entertaining as as anything. They're just excuses to the period to them because the first one like, like the, the whole big premise was just all these action stars from the 80s were going to be in yeah. movie. Yeah. And then they threw in a couple like newer people. And yeah, it wasn't became something true. that should have never became with sequels. Yeah. Should have never had no sequels. Well, no, they never should have had sequels. They also no, just but, died at the end or something. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, but I, I want, to, I want to talk more about the Universal Monster thing real quick. Um, okay. Because you, when you when you think about it, um, you know, I would, I don't mind the idea of them, you know, creating, uh, newer versions of of those if they do them justice. Now, okay. as we've already as we've already discussed, I don't think they've done it justice yet. Well, Del Toro was supposed to be involved, and they were supposed—he was supposed to do a Justice League Dark movie, which would have been amazing, live action too. Yeah, and it would have been all the like all the magical like demons and shit. But you know, like WB, they were right. assholes. <laughs> but oh, no, Universal. On, though, but 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 Universal though. Universal would have been like, the dark universe would have been great. Unfortunately, they had bad ideas right out the gate, like the Mummy movie with Tom Cruise, yeah. and that yeah, pretty much unfortunately like, killed any motivation for there to be more of the dark universe. I'm like, well, you 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 chose Tom Cruise. That's because yeah. a lot of those movies too, like universally you know, hated. <laughs> what was it, Ted? The old Universal movies more played off of just like your imagination, though. Like they just try to take all the newer ones when they redid them all, like too far. Yeah, I mean, if you go back and like, and honestly, you think about it, like they they've done they've done good ones in the past. I mean, think about it, like Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yeah, that's a, that's a fucking yeah. class. That movie was fucking great. It is right. freaking uh, Gary Oldman slays that movie. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's some there's some great fucking stuff in that movie. Um, you know, and actually, and this is one. The movie Wolf with Jack Nicholson and Michelle Pfeiffer. Um, I see I like that. that movie. I, I love that movie, and I see it as a okay, retelling. I need to check this movie out. I've never heard the, of this movie. Really? Yeah, no? Jesus. Yeah, yeah. it's movie. been out for a long time. It's been well, out since I, the 90s, I think, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I have not heard of every horror movie in existence like you guys have. <laughs> well, I'm far off. Well, well, what I was going to say was, though, was like to me, Wolf is like a really good retelling of The Wolfman. Really, Jack Nicholson and Michelle Pfeiffer. 
Yeah, oh, dude, know. yeah. You need to you need to watch it. It'll become it'll I become do. a favorite real quick. And okay, James, I guess I need James, to get Shutter then. <laughs> well, I, I, Wolf isn't on Shutter, but yeah. uh, you can you can find it. There's all there's all kinds of free apps, all kinds of shit you can find yeah, on there. Have to find that Wolf movie now. It's I've got it on VHS. Yeah, wow. Well, well, James, you have your VHS too. collection. That's awesome. Oh, dude, I've got tons. Believe me, it's what almost a headache. VHS. <laughs> <laughs> the ancient Sorry. technology known as VHS. I don't even know if yeah. I have a working fucking VCR in my house. I got two. <laughs> and I cherish I, I guard them with my life. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you have to. They're like gold. Yeah. I mean, okay, so here's a question. Like if 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 they were if somebody gave you the the choice of okay, we're gonna redo an old universal monster movie, what what would you what would you all choose? Like choose from those? Like what would be what would be the, one that the would... Universal Monster movie? I would actually choose the Black Creature from the Black Lagoon because yes. honestly, oh, my answer. There, there has not been. That's where I was going too. In... That, yeah, me too. <laughs> we're, we're on the same page. Well, there you go. Only because there's so many remakes of God. There's so many remakes of freaking Frankenstein, Dracula, The Mummy. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. ju- it's just no one ever thought. Hey, why don't I make a creature from the Black Lagoon like kind of like remake or reboot? Like, like why? Why like was the that last not? Time a you thing? ever see the creature is in the fucking the Monster Squad. Monster Squad, and, and that was like he, he looked wicked. <laughs> yeah, and that's the last time you ever saw that that character anywhere. Yeah, man, and they did, and I think he looked awesome. If they would, if they would get that that suit back, he's got to be you know what I mean? the most underrated monsters. Oh, definitely, man. That's why I got my I got my son into it. Yeah, like that again, was, we watched him. Yeah, we, he loved him too. And I had the perfect actor to 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 play it as Ooh. as as the creature from the Black Lagoon. I know everyone's gonna be like, "Well, he's everybody," but he's perfect for it. Doug Jones. Wait, who's Doug Jones? I know the name, but Doug Jones played the fish monster in Fish, uh, the the oh, Shape Hellboy. of Water. He played Aid Sapien in both Hellboy movies. I knew that's he, what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, he yeah, it's fucking amazing. If the guy could act- Reynolds, because why not? <laughs> <laughs> I love Ryan yeah. Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds sounding like the creature, a, just no. A, a smart ass creature, like no. no. That'd be no. hilarious. I want, I want a vicious creature. No, if we're gonna no. do that, just make it the Toxic Avenger. Oh wait, they're already doing that again. Yeah, they are. Yeah, but I Peter like- Dinklage is a strong contender. So, yeah, we'll see. I, don't uh, I, I already have an, I already have a feeling I know who he's going to be. He's not going to be the Toxic Avenger. He's going to be Duder before Toxic Avenger. That's what I'm thinking. Oh. And then that's that's what they have, they've actually kept it pretty hush hush, except for the well, fact that he's going to be in it. So well, I'm hoping Troma's involved because you know that's kind of what. Well, Lord Kaufman he, put him on the map. Yeah, Lord Kaufman. He's got he's got input on it. Like yeah, he, he has. Some, say he's still kicking, so he should he should be all over. Yeah, yeah, he's still alive. He was in the, the oh, what was it? He was in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Yeah, was he? I just saw yeah. him in something not too long. Yeah, ago. he he has a few cameo parts and like. Well, that's know, because yeah, because James Gunn. That's where he started out from. Mm-hmm. Because Peacemaker season two, oh, I can't wait. Yeah, she was pretty dope. Yeah, yes, I can't wait for the end of season one. Th- that last episode is gonna be crazy as fuck. Um, you gotta get on that, Chuck. Damn right you do. Yeah, I do. I know. I've got. I've got a few. Do you really, really? It? Do you really, really? Do you really, really want it? <laughs> take a take off. No, no, no. That's the name of the song. The the band's called Wigwam, and they're like a Swedish hair metal band, and they're fucking great. Oh, okay, I thought you were like quoting Spice Girls. I didn't know what was happening there. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I, I got the go song that. stuck. In, no, I got that song stuck in my head from Peacemaker. It's fucking great. If you just if you just like YouTube the opening to that show and watch it, like you're gonna. Oh my god! Yeah, you will instantly want to watch the show. It's fucking goofy. Like we're talking about the John Cena thing, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's. Fucking ridiculous! It shouldn't be good, but it's amazing. I didn't realize it was a show. I thought it was just a movie. Oh no, no, it's a show. 
It's well, okay. the best thing John Cena's ever done in his life. Yeah, but it definitely wasn't well, wrestling. Well, I mean, aside from all like the Make a Wish shit he does. I mean, well, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm talking about movie wise. Oh yeah, right, yeah, right, no, that's, right. that's better than the Make a Wish stuff. <laughs> no, I know, but I'm just saying. It's just pretty yeah, funny. yeah, it's such a funny ass show. Oh yeah, it's it has, fucking like, the, hilarious. The one chick from Orange is the New Black. I thought that's who that was. See, I haven't watched the show that much, but I'm familiar. Yeah, I quit watching it like seven years ago whenever me and my ex broke up. I uh, we me and me and my ex we quit watching it because we got it was like season fuck, I don't even know. It was like one of the later seasons, and I was like, okay. Cause now I, I found myself being annoyed by the main girl, Piper <laughs> or whatever. She knew the fuck out of me. She was irritating. Oh yeah, Piper um, was kind of annoying. And they started going through everybody's stories. <laughs> and they did that with like every episode and all stuff. I'm like, okay, all right. We get it. We, we get back stories. Okay. It just got boring. It was fun. It was fun for a little while. And then it was just like, eh. yeah, HBO has been surprising me. Except for like that. Did you, I saw you watch. Did you watch that Kimmy shit? But what? what? That show, that movie, Kimmy on HBO Max. Oh, Kimmy. Yeah, I actually thought that was pretty good. I never heard of it. It was just. I, I thought it was boring. Well, it was it was a Hitchcock thing, and it got interesting towards the end. But it's not like amazing. But it really showcased that Zoe, like when it got Zoe good, Kravitz is awesome. Ended. Yeah, it did end abruptly, didn't it? Yeah, it was kind of like it was over, and I was like, "What the fuck did I? What happened? Did I have a stroke? Like I didn't know what the fuck was going on." But that's okay. N- nobody is like my new favorite movie, and I've watched that twice already. I watched it again right after yeah, that, watching it. That shit's pretty dope. I can't. I, I, they're actually writing a sequel. I'm like, fuck, that's fast. Yeah, I've, I've been see, watching uh, the, the oh, Lighthouse. I still need to watch that. Like, dude at work told me to watch it, so I watched it last night. But before I watched that, like, I saw like. The dude Robert Eggers or whatever he's he did the witch too and I never saw that so I was like I'll check that shit out and that movie was pretty boring. I, I, yeah, I but I need to watch the witch because I heard a lot of people liked it, but like you said, a lot of people thought it was. Boring. It's a slow burn. It was, it was, I like the witch. Like it was weird because like I thought it was boring, but then like towards the end I was like this shit's kind of done pretty pretty like brilliantly like. Right. Yeah. Well, you're good. like okay, okay. In the last like twenty minutes, you're like whoa, okay. Yeah. David Eggers is kind of like that though. And then, uh, so then after that, I watched The Lighthouse, and that shit was pretty dope, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, The Lighthouse? Oh, my God. I told you. Yeah, that movie is fucking insane, right? Yeah. Robert Pattinson and William Dafoe. Perfect. And it's black and white and shit, and it's all fucking yeah. and full screen, so you have bars on the sides instead. What, what did you think of The Mermaid? Those whole scenes fucking trip me out. I, I haven't know, seen right? it yet. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't okay, seen it yet. All right, all right, all right. I didn't know there was a mermaid involved. <laughs> you gotta watch that shit. It's I know. Crazy. I didn't. I, I I'm gonna choose the I because I was told by one of my friends uh, when it first was released, and he saw it. He goes, "Dude, what you're gonna need to do when you watch this movie is you're gonna have to have lots get of whiskey. <laughs> yeah, get high and drink a lot of whiskey. And I was uh, watching so, it sober. And well, I don't do things sober. I try not to as much as possible. I don't either. Um, it's just, I mean, just uh, everything's more fun when you're like, you know, inebriated. Um, I guess. Yeah. Stone is a better way of putting that. It, when I'm drunk, it's kind of like eh. But when I'm stoned, I'm like, ooh, I'm really into this. Um, <laughs> but but yeah, I I was told the, that uh, I need to get get into a certain mind mind frame watching that. And I really I really I, I like movies that take place in single areas. And if it's done well, you know, like phone booth. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, I I get that. That's a dig at me. <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally, Andrew. I say it out of love, buddy. I, I stand love. by my statement. I was not impressed. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, yeah. We're allowed to not like things. I know. I but I'm also gonna give you shit regardless. That's what friends do. Exactly. Yeah, anyway, that lighthouse <laughs> movie surprised me. But yeah, yeah. like same it's same here. I wasn't sure what to expect going into it, but like what? after watching that, Robert Pattinson's got this Batman. Right, and then like plus like it's hard to like keep people entertained with just two actors and that's it. Oh yeah, it's really really hard. It shows how good actors are though. 
Like it and really it does. Shows, it shows how good Robert Pattinson is. Everyone's just like, oh, he's not a great actor. I'm like, watch the fucking lighthouse. And that was the main reason why I watched it because I had like no reference to him whatsoever because I never saw the Twilight shit. Luckily, right. And that's horrible. But, I mean, well, that's good because yeah. you don't have that bias weighing you down. Right. Exactly. I know like most people that aren't going to like Batman are the ones that are, have seen those shits. And that's that's fine. They don't have to like Batman. I'm just excited. Right. Like seeing Zoe Kravitz too. in Kimmy, even if it wasn't a great movie, she was great in it. She's sexy as hell, too. I mean, that too. <laughs> the ending of that movie I enjoyed. I just kind of wish they kind of did something more. And I'm like, and that was it? Yeah, that was weird. Like, I, I, I feel like they were trying to go for a rear window, but a more modern version of it. It's a good one. The original. Well, yeah, the original's great. But yeah, I, I feel like they were trying to do a rear, rear window. And the funny thing is, the director also had an issue about, like, there's no sex in Marvel movies. I'm just like, well, there was sex in your movie, but it still wasn't that great. <laughs> <laughs> sex does not make a movie better. Sorry. No, not it doesn't make a movie better, but sometimes it can. Except for, like, what was them just back in the day, like, nine and a half weeks or whatever? <laughs> or like the Emmanuel movies and shit. No, I, mean, I hear, but, like, I hear, I hear Joe Bob Briggs talk about the Emmanuel movies all the time, and I, I don't even know what those are. But, but, but Steven Soderbergh was literally complaining that there was no sex in the MCU movies. I'm like, have you watched the Eternals? There's sex in that. I fell asleep watching the Eternals in like a half hour. <sighs> <laughs> World building. <laughs> I'm just a really big fan of world building. I really liked it. I I get why you mean. Like it 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 was slow. I will say that it was slow. Like I want I wanted to try to watch it so bad because Angelina's sexy as hell. Yes. But I couldn't do it. I was like, if I want to watch a movie with her, and I'll just watch Tomb Raider again. I mean, that's probably the best that she looked since like Hackers to me, at least. Oh, she was she was gorgeous in Hackers. But then again, in Tomb Raider, she gained a ton of muscle and, like, lots of curves. So that, to me, was, like, awesome. But apparently she was not healthy. So yeah. I kind of feel like that's yeah. the only reason why you've only seen her like that, because she tried to do all this crazy stuff just to gain muscle, and it just wasn't healthy for her. So she went back to being skinny. I don't know. There, there, there was something about seeing her like pretty much French kiss her brother on the red carpet that kind of turned me off. <laughs> yeah, she's got an interesting uh, way of dealing with her family. Yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, she also like you know has talked openly like, well, there's a video um, where she's talking about the Illuminati, and she's talking about like shocking when uh, well, she's <laughs> well, it was it was it's a video I mean, where she's hanging out. It's a video Sorry. where she's hanging out with her friends and, uh-huh. and she's telling them all about all this shit that like was done to her and all this, like when she got into Hollywood and, you know, and just her family's name and all that shit. And it's pretty fucking crazy. It's the same reason why she had certain tattoos on her, but like, she was like fucking there's, yeah, there was a lot. There, I think they can find it on YouTube. The video. It's she, always the Illuminati. Like nobody ever wants to take responsibility for their own crazy fucked up shit. Well, I mean, what do you think's ruling Hollywood? Chupacabra. <laughs> Mothman. Uh, a, 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 go, a goat killer is right. No, that is me. Well, no, like just just every time some famous person dies, it's like, oh, it's the Illuminati. Like Tupac died, Illuminati. Got him. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, the thing is though, is like, I mean, there's a lot of weird shit that goes on. Well, yeah, I know. Hollywood. Bohemian and- Groove. Again, look it up. It's real. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, 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 we've touched down. Uh, yeah, we talked about pregnancy. this before anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, like... just I, tuning in, we're, we're, we have, like, a weird sense of uh, a fascination with all the crazy-ass conspiracy theories. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I mean, Hollywood is Scientology, Illuminati bullshit, and that's why there's a bunch of evil shit going on. Is and- it bad that I'm more... <laughs> I'm more threatened by Scientology than I am the Illuminati. Just because like, <laughs> Scientology has legitimate threats. I have not seen anyone, quote unquote, from the Illuminati just going out and like fucking people's like lives up. 
Well, I mean, yeah, you should make a horror movie like that. Well, I mean, there's, <laughs> there, I mean, there, there, there the is a bunch of these. the Scientology killer starring Tom Cruise. <laughs> well, I mean, like there, I mean, <laughs> Scientology is is pretty much uh, the, the Illuminati. That's pretty much what it's, it's being discussed. In this. I know, yeah. but Scientology is terrifying. Like, so just watch the. Again, watch the Leah Romani documentary. Until I see yeah, I someone actively talking about the Illuminati and what it's done to my life, I'm just going to be like, yes, yeah, Scientology is worse. <laughs> well, I mean, well, you can go look on YouTube. There's all kinds of interviews with people. I'm, Every time I, I mean, like, watch some kind of Scientology shit, I just want to watch Ancient Aliens with that one dude because he cracks me up. <laughs> the guy with the hair. That yeah. Greek guy. He, fucking, he, he drives me nuts. He cracks He's a fucking me meme. He's fucking he, hilarious. He is a meme. I wonder if he realizes that. Probably. He's then he buys the aliens. Actually, I, I had one with him one at one time that said, "In fact, the Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with." <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. Uh, it's all true. Right. <laughs> Spe- speaking of which, the best on-screen trio it has been put together thanks to like Bob Odenkirk and and. The producer of, of John Wick. You have the RZA, Christopher Lloyd, and Bob Odenkirk. A trio that should not actively make so much sense and be so badass, but it's like my new favorite action trio. You have Christopher was, Lloyd at fucking 60 plus years old in an action movie. Was that when uh, you talk about Nobody? Yes. Yeah. yeah, dude, that movie that movie surprised the fuck out of me. I love the Same. fuck out of that movie. Well, oh my I literally God, it watched awesome. it. Yeah, I literally put it on. I'm like, let's watch Nobody. And my friend's like, okay. And then after the words, he's like, holy shit. I want more. <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, Bob Co- Bob Odenkirk, fucking, you better call Saul, motherfucker. Like, that was, that was, uh, it that motherfucker. Sure. He, that, was, that was a dope movie. Yeah, man. That that, that guy, he, he the, the, the bus scene where he's on the bus and like just fucking Oh my owns God, it. the bus scene is the craziest oh. fucking thing. Because I've, I've heard great. about the bus scene before that movie even came out. And when the movie came out, people just talk, talked about the bus scene. I'm like, shut up. I haven't seen it. That's a damn good. I love movies like that, though. Like, I just, you know, it, he, he, you find out, like, you know. But I, I like the trailer made it look so badass, though, too. Because it's just like, who are you? He's like, I'm nobody. It's like, yes. Just that right there is like, that's some, that's some fucking classic badassery right there. Yeah, he's pretty <clears throat> Yeah, but not to good. mention the music. The music he picked, I swear, it's just like watching Better Call Saul because all the music made sense to like, well, if Saul picked the music, it would be like this. Right. I need to watch that again, actually. I mean, because when I watched it, uh, I was, I was, I was very inebriated. I was, I was too inebriated to, uh, to remember all of it, but I remember the, like some important parts of it. And I yeah, remember I loved it. You have to actually be sober to watch Better Call Saul. <laughs> I couldn't get into yeah. that show. Uh, I have only watched a little bit of it. You know, yeah, I haven't it's watched. Too slow moving for me compared to like Breaking Bad. Well, yeah. I mean, Better Call Saul is different, but they do have some characters from Breaking Bad in there, like Gus. And yeah, uh, like, I know like Gus and Mike were in it. Yeah, Mike. Mike is the best. I feel so bad for Mike. He's a good he's actor. Like a, he's like a fucking. Oh yeah, fucking he's a great actor. Attendant. Yeah, Mike goes through some shit. <laughs> like, give this man a hug. <laughs> right. No shit. Like, I felt bad when he was, like, just trying to, like, when he got killed. For those that haven't seen Breaking Bad, sorry. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh, Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, like, they got felt bad. years have probably passed. Yeah, but, like, he was just trying to get back to his grandkids, man. And it's like, oh shit, dude, that's fucking. That just pulls at your heartstrings a little bit. Good actor, good character too. Oh yeah, every uh, person in that show is an amazing actor, even the like, side characters. Yeah, um, so we're talking about shows and shit. You know what? Actually, the only show I've been, that I've watched here recently, and this is going to be re- this. This also goes with the uh, the remake uh, aspect of the topics that we talked about. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I get. I've been watching Bel Air. Huh. Yeah. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Uh, I like it. 
Um, it's a serious mm-hmm. version of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, that's why um, I gave it a shot. I was just like, no. And see, that's the thing. I was fucking weird about it too. But my buddy was watching. He's like, he's like, man, this is strange. Cause like, Uncle Phil isn't this big dude. He's like, he, he's, he's, you know, he's, he's not built, but like he's smaller. Yeah. Um, the guy that plays Will Smith is like he actually taps into Will Smith a little bit. You can kind of tell. Really, that's kind of cool. Um, they bring, I mean, they bring. I mean, it's all it's 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 all the characters. I mean, they have everybody like Jeffrey. You know, like he's he's a you know English dude or whatever, like Butler, but like he's a little bit more gangster, I guess. Um, yeah, like Carlton didn't seem all like Carlton's the most annoying stuff. thing. On the show, <laughs> he is the most irritating because he's not—he's not the funny comic relief spoiled brat. Like, no, he's a fucking pill snorting fucking asshole um, who is a complete <laughs> like snob. Um, he's kind of like, like one dude's cousin on Chucky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like you wanted to see him die. Yeah. It's like you little shit. But yeah, like that's. <laughs> It's it, 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 but it's, it's it's an interesting take, man. It's, I think there's only three episodes out because I've only watched three episodes of about so far. Is um, it on Peacock? But, yeah, it's on Peacock, and it's okay. it's I fucking. Peacock. I didn't I didn't expect myself to get into it. I was like, you know what? Why not? Like, like produce it, right? I don't know if he does or not. That I, I thought he did. He might. I mean, he might have. I mean, I, he might. I don't know. Yeah, he probably does. But I mean, they go. Like if you took out all the comedy and like put in like all the serious aspects of, of, of the original show, Fresh Prince, because you know the whole idea. Oh, that's the other thing. Because like you know the, the famous theme song, right? Uh-huh. Um, all right, so they don't have that, obviously. But is it a slow they, down version? <laughs> no, no. The thing is, is in the first episode, throughout the dialogue in different scenes with different people, whatever, they slip in phrases. Uh, from the fucking song, because like, because okay. Will Smith, uh, he's like, he gets picked up by Jazz. Jazz is actually like the fucking cab driver that gave him a ride from point A to point B, and mm. he's like, you know, he's talking to him, and like, he says something like, uh, uh, oh, you know, like I play a b-ball, you know, that there's like he mentioned that shit, and then he gets to uh, to the mansion, um, and he's talking to to his aunt. Uh, Aunt Viv, um, who is incredibly gorgeous in this one, um, she uh, she's talking to him and she's like, "So what? What happened?" He's like, uh, "You know, just I was playing, you know, b ball, and uh, there were some guys that were up to no good, you know, and mom wanted me to." <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> "Really? <laughs> yeah, like they did that over and over again." You're just like, you know, they totally they did that on purpose, obviously. And, uh, and it was kind of, I mean, it's kind of funny, but it's it's just weird seeing these characters, and you're like. It's so weird because like the serious aspects of the show, like they took the comedy way the fuck out of it, and they just yeah, threw all the drama. serious, though, you know. Yeah, complete drama. I mean, yeah, it really I is. It's the other night, and I was I was like, no. It it was I I wasn't expected to actually like it. I it was the last I'm thing that I was watching one night, and I ended up getting sucked in. What? I should have to check it out. Yeah, what are you eating, Andrew? Food. But what kind of food? <laughs> oh, chicken and, and mashed potatoes. Nice. Okay, is, is, is the chicken grilled or fried? Oh, it's just cheap shit from the store. That's not what I ask, Andrew. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fried. Okay, okay. Well, that's all right. Then. You can tell it's me because I'm literally mostly eating all the time and you're drinking. <laughs> we, all have, we all have our things, I guess. What things? We just have our little little our quirks. I almost said twerks. That's not the word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't twerk. Sorry. Yeah, I, I I I never tried, nor do I ever want to. But we all have our little quirks about us, you know. Makes it just it just makes us who we are. Now yeah. Dave's just going to be like, okay, now I'm going to twerk. I'm like, no, Dave. <laughs> twerk. Who's twerking? <laughs> No, no one's twerking. Chad's like no, twerking. I'm, I'm, just say, I'm, I'm just saying Dave would be a smart ass. He's just like, I'm just going to edit it to say twerk for now. Right. Maybe the one twerking. Yeah. <laughs> I, miss, I miss having Dave on here, man. I hope he gets over that shit soon. Fuck. No doubt. 
Hey, he, he started coughing and shit whenever I was talking to him earlier, and I'm like, you all right? And he's like, I can't breathe. I'm like, all right, chill the fuck out. Damn, man. Fucking Rona, man. I'm glad I didn't get it half as bad as everybody else did. I mean, I was put out. I, I was I was feeling like shit for a while, but not like everybody, like some of these fucking people are, man. I just, uh-uh. I'm glad my lasted like a week and a half, and I was all right. So right. far, knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, did you guys watch anything crazy this week? Yeah. Yeah, actually, I did. Um, well, fucking okay. It's called the uh, fuck the warrior, the end of the world, something. Fuck, what is it called? Uh, it's one of those futuristic bad uh ripoffs of like Road Warriors and Mad Max and shit that came out in the 80s. Wait, 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 is it is it the the warrior of the lost world? Yes. Yeah, that's what oh I, I watched. Oh my god, I love though. that movie. It's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, but Donald Pleasance is in it, and he's the best part of that movie. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's the eight. best part of that whole movie. He's the only one that can act. Oh, yeah. dude, so but the only reason why I watched this because me and my buddy were uh, we were we were FaceTiming and watching the same shit we do it all the time because he lives like an hour and a half away from me, but. Uh, and so we were watching uh, old Joe Bob episodes of Monster Vision that we found on uh, YouTube, and yes. that's that was and that's one of them that's on there. Um, oh my god, it's so bad. Yeah, it's really bad. Before that, we watched a movie that um, it's called Project Metal Beast. Interesting. And that sounds like a Rob Zombie movie. It does. It was on. It was a Joe Bob episode as well. We watched it on, um, and the movie was uh, boring as shit. Uh, nothing. <laughs> Nothing better than expecting a werewolf movie, and what you get is a bunch of filler. Oh, you get man. literally a like it shouldn't take someone fucking fifteen minutes to run down a hallway. <laughs> wow! Okay, it's just it, it, it it's just it's stupid. It's stupid. I mean, it really is. Is and it's like you could do so much with this, and but instead you're going the route of okay, of just being boring. Uh, Barry Boswick's in it. Um, who was, you know, the the mayor in Spin City, and of course, uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. He was and he Brad, was Brad, Brad yeah. Majors. Yep, yep. Damn it, Janet. Um, <laughs> but uh, I like Rocky Horror. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Hey, Rocky Horror is great. And the only person That's- that doesn't like it so much is uh, Tim Curry. Uh, he's starting to well he, for the longest time, but when it made a comeback a few years ago. He was starting to embrace it a little bit more. He still, it still isn't his favorite thing to talk about, though. Well, that's good. But At he least he's warmed up to it. That's literally the reason why he's famous. <laughs> right, that's Pennywise. Yeah. I mean, beep, well, beep, Richie. Well, well, Pennywise came <laughs> after that. And then, you we, know, Clue. We all float down here. Uh, yeah, good. Clue's one of my favorites. Clue, Clue is one of my favorites for many fucking reasons. One, it's a great fucking movie. Tim Curry's fucking amazing. All the actors in that are great. And for a board game movie, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But do you know, can you can, can either of you name the punk rock legend that is in that movie? Shit. I'm just going to go on a limb and say Flea. No, no. Because, because Flea's Flea not a punk a, rock legend. Well, he's, he's, he's a... He, He's a funk legend, and he's probably him, him, and the and the and the drummer Chad Smith, the Rouch Sleep Ever is the only thing good about that fucking band. Fuck that band, but we weren't gonna Agreed. go with that. <laughs> uh, Anthony Kiedis is a fucking pedo piece of shit and a fucking douchebag. He is. <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on, the guy fucking said like he had sex with a fourteen year old and then had to do it again because hey, how many times would he get to have sex with a fourteen year old? I mean, it's pretty uh-huh. fucking gross. Yeah. Um, yeah but no, Lee Ving. Lee Ving from the from the famous band Fear, if either of you are uh, familiar. Oh yeah, um, I'm familiar with Fear. Uh he plays Mr. Body. And oh, good. Yeah, he's Mr. Body. And uh that that that's always been cool to me because I love Fear, man. Come on. The the punk rock band that, that pretty much bases their shit about getting fucking drunk, just drinking a lot of beer. You know, like have a beer with us and shit. I love living in the city. Well, well, yeah, they're famous. Also, I found out about them from watching the Sound City documentary. Oh yeah, those and they, they, they're they're fucking they're pretty uh, crazy. They're still doing it too. 
So, God damn, they're old. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lee Ving actually, uh, back when quarantine, when, when Corona first was blowing up and stuff, and they started doing these different YouTube videos where uh, bands would like, you know, like, like basically, like it'd be like a bass player in like California and a drummer in like, you know, Florida, you know what I mean? And like all those different musicians would like do these collaborations. And uh, Scott Ian, Frank Bellows, and uh, Charlie Benante from uh, Anthrax and nice. Lee Ving. Uh, they did a, a fear song. Uh, they did it like that, and it was it's pretty badass. You should look that shit up and check that. Yeah, out. Okay, speaking pretty- of that, Scott Ian had to have been literally a part of ten different things. <laughs> Everything that I saw, like quarantine edition, I'm like, is Scott Ian bored? Because no joke, he was in like a bunch of different things of different types of music too. Because you know, he's a busy man. Yeah, he just loves getting into that stuff. Oh, because, yeah. uh, I was watching the uh, Mary with Children the other day whenever they won a prize and fucking oh, yeah. Anthrax came to their house and played. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, you know, I've, never, I've never been a huge Anthrax fan. Um, I, I wasn't I, until I saw them live a few years ago and fucking Joey Belladonna still got it. I see. He's my biggest problem with that band. Uh-oh. He annoys the living <laughs> shit out of me. God, I see. I was I was a fan of like when John Bush from Armored Saint was with him. Well, for Bush a while. was good. Yeah, he fit the band pretty well. Black Lodge, come on, that's a great fucking song. No, no, like it that, is the, the the album White Noise. That entire album, it, it's basically a heavier Alice in Chains. Like I it has a very big yeah, Alice in Chains kind of feel. You know, I mean, Alice in Chains was heavy, but not like you know. Like, Their new like stuff, the the killer age. Dis- despite despite mm-hmm. what people talk about, like Alice in Chains, I like their new stuff. That's right, haters. Their new guy is pretty fucking good. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah, I never actually gave him a chance. He's not going to be Lane Stanley, obviously. He's dead. No, no, okay, no, no, I get that. I get that completely. My problem with the dude from Alice in Chains now, his name is something Duvall. Um, <laughs> my issue with him is because i mean I, I i like some of the stuff they put out like they've got some good stuff and he's a good vocalist blue but i yeah like that's that, that's a damn good album but i mean? don't i don't like okay watching live stuff with him um i it's hate how he, he takes on the rock star persona on stage yeah, um weird. and he's up there playing guitar and like he's all smiling and looking all like He's got his leather pants on, his hair's all froed up, and, and he's like smiling and all this stuff. And it's like, dude, you're singing a song that Lane Stelly wrote about being a depressive fucking junkie. And like you just you're not you don't you don't have that emotion in you. That's what pisses me off about it. Is like, I mean, I yeah, that is true. He's singing about songs that he shouldn't be singing about because he's not on drugs, gotcha. No. Like I I no. Like I'm glad that I'm glad that uh, the Jerry and the boys are, are still fucking doing it and they're still Can't fucking kicking ass. Still fucking amazing, yeah. He's well, the reason know. why a lot of a lot of their stuff is so good. Oh well yeah, of course. I mean Jerry Control's a goddamn I mean, that guy's a fucking national treasure in my opinion. Yeah, he's putting out a solo album and going on tour and I'm like, Man, I, I would love to see them live. His first solo album was amazing. Boggy that was Depot. Like, that was like right after he died, right? Yeah, that was huh? yeah. That yeah, was after like that was right after Lane Staley died. Oh, he was like actually nineties, right? Or something like ninety nine or something. Uh yeah, something like that. Lane was supposed to be on that album. Huh, wow. Yeah, because Jerry had been like talking about doing it for a while. And uh they had talked about doing it and then and then Lane went missing and then they found out that Lane has been dead for two weeks. Wow. Uh Jerry Cottrell actually has well, I think I think the cat finally died, but he actually had the cat that was Lane's that was actually gnawing on his corpse when they found him. <laughs> creepy. Yeah, yeah, Alice. I think I think the cat's name was Alice. I could be of wrong. course. They had, they had a tarantula <laughs> back in the day when the band all lived together in Seattle in a shitty little apartment. They had a tarantula named Alice. But yeah. <laughs> that sounds like something they would have. Yeah, I just well, I just I, I, I wanted to get a tarantula, but I'd, I'd have to keep it away from Dave. <clears throat> God, I don't like spiders at all, dude. Hey, tarantulas are cool. They're arachnids. Yeah, arachnids spiders arachnids. bother me. Like, arachnophobia is one of my favorite movies. Why? Because it makes me feel really disgusting when I watch it. <laughs> what about Eight-Legged Freaks? That one's hilarious. <laughs> it's it so is. stupid, but it's funny. I saw <laughs> I saw that. At double. It was a double feature. I stayed. Uh, we, I think we watched Jason, T- Jason X 
And that, then we went and saw that like across the hall. That's a hell of a double feature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah the, the, the girl, the, 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 the friend that, that was with us, the, the, the female friend that was with us, she hated us completely for taking her to both those movies. Nice. Yeah. We're well, like, when you were mentioning about bad movies that you saw, I, I need to mention something. My friend was talking about like, cause I, I watched freaky, which was pretty fucking hilarious. I I sure if you guys. Vince Vaughn. That was the best thing he's done in years anyway. So he was telling me about the stepfather because I, I had him watch the babysitter and he thought it was awesome. So mm-hmm. yeah, never, never saw stepfather. The stepfather is a really bad B movie from the eighties starring the one old guy from lost. Yeah, I know. So vague, but well, oh, well, I, I'm going to go ahead and say this. I think the original stepfather is actually a good movie. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, what I mean. It was cheesy as hell, yeah. but you know, it was it was oh, yeah. really fucked up because, especially when he beats up the, the mother with a fucking telephone. Oh yeah, I shouldn't be laughing at this, but he just—it's just randomly violent for no reason. But the buildup is great. Stepfather Two is the best one. Wait, is it the same guy? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm not in the third one. There's a third one, but he's not. He's not in that one. And now when he has plastic surgery because he wouldn't come back, um, <laughs> I can't. I can't remember the fucking guy's name. They made a so, remake to it, and Terry, uh, Terry Quinn, Terry Quinn. Yeah, Terry Quinn, Terry O'Quinn. Yeah, Quinn. yeah. Terry, yeah, Terry, Terry O'Quinn. O'Quinn. Terry O'Quinn uh, just fucking makes that movie. Yeah, like Stepfather Two is the best one out of all. I have all three. Okay, movies. I need to check out Stepfather Two, but I love how Stepfather <laughs> comes out in '87. I'm like, yeah, this is totally an '80s movie. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. The director definitely... probably never got a job after that. <laughs> well, '80s movies. Because they're they're so unnaturally, un unintentionally, like no for no reason, super violent for no reason, but like <laughs> it's just enjoyable. Well, I, I think that the, the, the violence, um, and especially like in the 80s and shit like that when it came to the film, was mainly because at the time you could get away with doing that kind of shit. You, right. could, you, could kill, you could kill women, you could beat women, you could fucking kill kids, you could do whatever, no one, you know, you could be as brutal as ever killing everybody. You could uh, not make Stepfather now. Well, they made Stepfather. They remade the movie like a few years back. <laughs> I know. It's probably terrible. It I is. Went, it's horrible. I went back and watched Chopping Mall and that fucking movie. Oh, oh my God. God. Chopping Classic. Mall. Classic. <laughs> yeah, I remember seeing that shit way back in the day. I was really surprised it had nudity. Not just because it's the 80s. It's just the fact that like this movie doesn't really need it. It just randomly like, hey, naked people. I'm pretty sure I saw that shit for the first time when USA Up All Night. <laughs> yeah, you, you oh, probably yeah, USA dude. when they had horror movies. USA up all night. Yeah, I remember that. Oh my God, Gilbert. We the Gilbert Godfrey. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is insane. That's amazing. Yeah, uh, him and Ronda <laughs> Shear, man. Yeah, USA up all night. Fucking USA up all night with Ronda Shear and then Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> Gilbert fucking Godfrey. Joe Bob. <laughs> And like, Joe, yeah, wait, man. Joe Bob was on that too. Of course he was. No, no, no I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying Joe Bob separately. Like those, those were the ones that pretty much shaped me to like you know love the shit that I do these days. You know? <laughs> but Gilbert Godfrey, that's just fun. <laughs> oh. Didn't Elvira did it for a couple years? Didn't she? Uh, oh, she, yeah, she, she, yeah, she did for a minute. Yeah, she did. On, I still had the biggest crush on Cassandra Peterson. And she's, don't she's tell me you met more. you met freaking Elvira too, didn't you, Chad? Actually, no, I haven't. Oh my God! Someone you haven't met. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 was, I was waiting for it. <laughs> yeah, I it's like actually, I got the hugger and everything. And- I actually, actually pushed her down and helped her back up. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed her by her kid and I was rushed away by like security. It's like, yeah, I don't know. Her girlfriend might have something to say about that. Yeah, I'd love to see it, that movie. Call it push it down and put her back up. Yeah. <laughs> But she sells pillows of just her boobs, and I'm just like, it's hilarious. I love that she's still in like the whole gimmick thing. Yeah, it's great. Oh, dude, she eats it up. I mean, it's, I mean, that's, I mean, it's Elvira. We all we all know and love her. You know, like yeah, all exactly. the our age group and stuff. Well, I watched her movie over the the COVID lockdown bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I've got a VHS. <laughs> that's an interesting one. 
if it happened. I think because like that that day I watched that, and then I watched uh, Tales from the Crypt, uh, Bordello of Blood, and Demon Knight. Ah, yes. Okay, Bordello yes. of Blood is okay, but Demon Knight is just so oh, good. So good. <laughs> So yeah, good. So Billy Zane should have gone somewhere, but surprisingly, no. What What do well, you mean? William Sadler's the shit, too. Well, like, Billy Zane really didn't... It was always kind of, like, underrated in terms of, like, acting. Like, he was oh, in yeah. movies, but he wasn't in anything big. Jada I mean, Pinkett's Titanic. Well, besides Titanic. After Titanic, what the fuck was he in? The Phantom, <laughs> motherfucker? No. <laughs> But that was the nineties. I'm saying after the nineties, Zane hey, kind of went away. It looks like fucking uh, Billy Zane, but it's not him. Billy Zane was the colonel, okay, for a few commercials. All right, so <laughs> oh, yeah, huge so, claim to fame there. <laughs> who's that? Again, who's that I was dude, sad like, too because I love Billy Zane. Billy yeah, Zane was I great. Think, I always think the dude in the mummy looks like Billy Zane. Oh yeah, the, the oh guy yeah, he does. Uh, yeah, he's got those Billy Zanian features. <laughs> Billy yeah. Zanian, you mean bald and looking like a generic white <laughs> man? <laughs> Danny, Mr. Clean commercials. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no, Billy Zane and Demon Knight was hilarious. Also, Perfect. if you if you forget the Sandman from the, uh, Spider-Man, mm. unfortunately three. <laughs> was also in that movie. Apparently, he was like a like soap opera actor. I'm like, I can see that. Yeah, yeah he was he was banging the the hotel whore. Of course, he was. But Jada Pinkett's <laughs> sexy as fuck in that movie too. Oh hell yeah! And then you had what's her uh, fucking founder. Yeah, love yeah. her name by the way. Yeah, C- yeah. C- 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 CCH Pounder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was great. She was awesome in that, man. She, she was like, I loved I, I, everything she's in, she's great in. Yeah. yeah. Like Psycho the 4, shield. The Shield. Yeah. The shield was great. Yeah. Warehouse 13. Yeah. And Mrs. Fredericks. <laughs> yeah. uh, actually, Demon Knight, man. Let me, like, it's funny because uh, I fell in love with that movie because I, I read the book that came out before, like you know how they how they used to put out the the books before the movies came out. All that oh shit. man, I missed that. Yeah, so do I. Um, and I, I read that before I saw the movie and uh, huh. fell fucking in love with it, man. But I um, I was in when I was in high school, we had one of these classes that wasn't really. It wasn't really like like you, it was just a class to go to when. Uh, other teachers that had the other classes that were more important that had things to do. So mm-hmm. you went for an hour in this other class and those, and the teacher we had, like and we were supposed to be talking about like, I don't know. I, I think it was like a uh, social studies type <laughs> shit, like different things like that. But he was a fucking classically trained actor. This is old dude. And uh, nice. he was actually, well, he was really cool about things because he was like, look, um, you know, me being, you know, a, a part of, you know, I'm an actor and all this stuff. If you want, if you, if you, because we talk about movies all the time. Then he's like, if you have a scene from a movie that you want to bring in for us all to watch and discuss about it, you know, talk about it, that you get extra credit. So uh, me and my buddy Andrew were the only people that took advantage of this because me and him were like the movie guys in the, in, in the fucking room. And uh, there's two movies that I brought in. And one, I brought the scene from, uh, High Fidelity with John Cusack, one of my favorite movies. Um, Good movie. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. The, 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 yeah, okay. The scene where I'm glad, just glad you, you both have seen it. Um, the scene where he's imagining beating the shit out of fucking uh, Tim Robbins. Um, <laughs> I, I love that part. Oh, uh, no, yeah. <laughs> fucking Especially the little, the, the little Moby looking motherfucker, like, slams him in the head with a fucking, like, uh, phone or whatever it is or and they, they crush his head with a fucking air conditioner or whatever um but uh but I, but I brought that one in and then i brought in the scene in demon night where uh billy zane is outside and he's like oh let me inside come on he's like and he does the whole redneck thing hey no yeah. motherfucker go let me in the goddamn house <laughs> give me the goddamn key that whole th- that whole scene right there <laughs> yeah and yeah. like everybody in class was just like what the fuck was that and it was that was that was that was probably the best discussion that fucking class ever had was because of Demon Knight, and I took complete credit for it because that was that, that's one of my favorite fucking scenes because I mean that really is it, that really is one of my favorite movies of all time. It is Border of Blood, like you said, it's okay. It kind of it it felt falls a little flat. I mean, but at the same point, it's still fun. But it's not nearly it as is. good as Demon. Knight. But the problem is, like, I felt like after Demon Knight, they had so much full steam ahead. They were going to do more movies and like. 
after that movie no. came out, they're just like, and now we're not going to do any more movies. See, yeah. I like Bordello all because of Corey Feldman and Dennis Miller. We're just going right. to blame. No, no, no. We will blame Dennis Miller because I can't stand that man. <laughs> I'm just going to go and say that I fucking hate Dennis Miller. If anyone he- hearing this, fuck Dennis, Dennis Miller. That's what funny. are you talking about, funny. babe? Oh, not, well, what's the problem, babe? He's not funny. See, he's not babe. funny. He's annoying, hey, babe. No, I he would take Jeff Foxworthy over him, and I hate him too. Oh, but come on, leave Foxworthy alone. That's Foxworthy's that's funny. funny again. He is funny sometimes, but Dennis Miller acts like he's no. funny all the time, and Dennis Miller's not fucking funny. Everyone hated him on the set of Bordello of Blood. Good. They said he, he's was, he was the biggest. I'm dick. sure he's. The, yeah, I bet he is. <laughs> oh, and we can't forget. We can't forget. Okay, one of the one of the other best things about that movie was Chris Sarandon playing the oh, uh, yeah, Chris Sarandon. the evangelistic preacher <laughs> priest. Yeah, and all the porn stars probably from Playboy that ended up in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I'd say Playboy and a few other things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actual porn. Yeah. The, the, the yeah, stuff of penetration. I I forgot that, uh, that, 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 that uh, Corey person. Feldman was in that. What's that? What's that one with the dude's name that uh, was pretty much in charge of the vampire? Oh, oh the, the little dude. Yeah, he was in Troll. <sighs> troll. He was in, in Ghoulies. <laughs> Ghoulies. Oh my God. Ghoulies is a good one. Man, yeah, that's, that's some throwback right there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that guy wasn't fucking everything, dude. Yeah, he was like, like seriously. Well, well, that's what I loved. That, yeah, that's he, what he I loved about Tales from the Crypt. Warwick Davis. Yeah. Okay, but that's yeah. what I loved about Tales from the Crypt. They got some like big, big time B movie actors, sometimes C movie, but they got a lot of great actors. Well, I mean, did you see? Did you see the third movie they put out, Ritual? Wait, they put out a third movie. I didn't even know they, yeah. they put out a third movie. Well, yeah, shit. no, no. The, barely anybody knows about it. I knew. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know it was Tales from the Crypt until Did I bought it. it was I've seen it come across like my like watch list and shit sometimes, and I never. Did watched it come it. out in the Tales from the Crypt either? Did, did uh, it come out in the late nineties or something? Because I knew Tales from the Crypt kind of lasted up into the late nineties and then got canceled. I don't know. If, it might have been late nineties, over two thousands, but it's uh, it 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 has a. Uh, it has the Jennifer Grey, the chick from Dirty Dancing. Oh, nice. Um, she got a nose job, so she doesn't even look like her anymore. Yeah. Uh, and uh, career. Yeah, and Tim Curry is in it. Nice. Uh, okay, I need to watch this now. Well, it, there's a thing about it. Um, it, it has to do with... Uh, uh, I don't care if it sucks. <laughs> voodoo. Well, it has to do with voodoo and stuff. And like this little, like, you know, like... Uh, uh, I can't. I can't remember whether they're in Africa or Jamaica or someplace. I'm in Jamaica, um, and huh. there's a lot of voodoo. It's all. It's okay, um, but it's not nearly as good as Demon Knight or Bordello of Blood. Um, but it's, it's hard it's to a believe it's not better than Bordello of Blood when Bordello of Blood was just like Demon Knight was so good and Bordello of Blood was it was okay. It came there's out more than 2002. Good. Okay, I knew it was no, just something no. there. That yeah. was really, really late. I never heard of it until I bought a collection that had four, it had three other movies on it. Okay, and, well, uh, I need to watch the last Tales from the Crypt movie now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, they they could have done so much more. I mean, it happens. Have, have you? Did you say you've seen it, Chad, or no? no oh, that's right. You said, that yeah, because you said it came under come uh, what to watch or whatever. Yeah, you know, both of you give it a watch, see what you think. I mean, it, it's okay. You know, if you like voodoo stuff and, and all that, which is, you know, I like that stuff too. It's I cool. Like but uh, it's just, I don't know. It's, I, I don't know. It's what, a, have you ever, have you ever watched a movie like while you were like really sick? And then like every time you watch that movie afterwards, you feel ill. Like you're just like, there's something about the triggers. Like you remember the time you were laying in bed feeling oh. like you were dying. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I've, heard, I've watched a movie like that before. Yeah, well, this movie makes me feel that way because the first time I watched it, I was, like, not doing good at all. That's and every time I watch it... I watched The Princess, Brad. 
Uh, I mean, I, I, it's a classic. I love that fucking movie, I mean, but I like, I watch it, right? Like, I watch the shit out of that movie, but I mean, I still get like that whenever I was like a little kid and had like some the flu or whatever for strep. There, there, there's a movie. It's not Japanese because I thought it was when I first watched it. Cube, Cube does yeah. that. Cube yeah. is so good though. It's like, man, this is what Saw could have ended up being after yeah, the first. Yeah, Cube's pretty movie. underrated. It's pretty underrated. They they made. The sequels are uh, <laughs> yeah. Hypercube. <laughs> Hypercube. They, the they CGI just, just took over. Yeah, the CGI just took over that movie. Unfortunately. It, it just goes along with like, there's many movies out there that they, they could have just been single. Yeah. You know? And they should just well, laugh shit alone. Well, Japan's remaking it. I'm kind of intrigued because, you know, Japan's movies are pretty fucking crazy. So they can only make. They can only make Cube better since it wasn't actually even an American movie. It was a Canadian movie. Yeah. A? They can only make that movie better because it's Japan. Like, how can Japan fuck that up? I mean, they could. But... I mean, they, true, but they're, they excel at horror movies, in my opinion. Well, as long as the Koreans aren't making it. Hey, 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 now. I love, hey now. I love Train to Busan. No, it's a good movie. I, I, I'm just, I'm just saying that, like, when it comes down to like certain things, like I'm really iffy about Korean movies. Because <laughs> usually, because if it, if if it says Korean on it, most of the fucking or in Japanese movies too, like there's there's a, always a good possibility that there's going to be bodily fluids that you wouldn't see in an American movie splattered okay, everywhere. Fair, fair. Uh, fair. You're gonna you're you're gonna see like horrible like sexual things done to men, women, and children. Um, and at the end of the, at the, at the end of watching whatever movie you find from them, uh, it finds you questioning what the fuck did I do? Why did I even bother watching this? Uh, watch Itchy the Killer. You ever seen that movie? I fucking love that movie. I own it actually. Oh yeah. Do you remember the beginning of it? <laughs> the beginning of that movie is so insane. He jerks off all over the step and you just see it like running down yeah. the step. Yeah, I mean that was like one of my first intros to Japanese horror movies. Also, so like, there's, yeah. there's there's Tokyo there's Gore, please. Yeah, mine, mine was so, oh man, a horror movie. Just a fucked up concept was a uh, battle royale. Yes. Yeah, yeah, battle royale is amazing. Yeah. And then they tried to make it into a young adult thing with uh, Hunger Games. Yeah. Well, have you ever seen Old Old Boy? You ever seen the original Old Boy? The yeah, original Old stuff, Boy is fucking crazy. It, I mean, and the thing is, that's it's uh, it's not a bad one. I mean, it's got a pretty interesting like uh, story. The but... remake is not the worst, but it's not that great either. See, I haven't seen that one, but I just yeah. know like you I know, know I just Brolin, but I was just I, disappointed. I just know like the the last like the big twist of Old Boy. Oh uh, yeah, that's it's pretty. Up. uh I mean, yeah, it's pretty, yeah, pretty fun. Yeah. I mean, it really is. <laughs> I can't count it as one of my favorite movies just because of the fucking twist. Like, yeah, I like the movie, but I'm just like, I would never say like, oh yeah, it's one of my favorite movies. Yeah, you know what the twist is, right? Oh, it's not a big deal. Yeah, no, it's, it's a big up. fucking deal. <laughs> well, we'll leave the twist. We'll leave the twist out just in case anybody wants to go watch that movie because honestly, it's not a bad yeah, film. 20, it's a pretty yeah. interesting story, but 20, just know. Just know the last 20 minutes of that movie, you're probably going to be questioning what the fuck you just watched. And you're probably right. going to question why you like this movie still. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know. <laughs> okay, I get what you mean about Koreans fucked up horror movies. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah, what, 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 so what did you think of Audition then? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. All right. First, I'm going to go ahead and say this. When it comes down to Korean and Japanese movies and all that shit, uh, my buddy <laughs> that my buddy that I do graveyard talk with women, uh, we're supposed to do an episode with our, our friend Jupiter, who is basically they're going to educate me on certain uh, foreign horror films. Oh shit! Um, and because I'm not, I don't really like. Look, I how do I word this without sounding like a complete dick? Um. <sighs> Yeah, if you don't so, like subtitles. It's okay. It's not just the subtitles. Like I don't. <laughs> I prefer not to have to read. And if, yeah, if, I, mean, if, I, like, I know people that like usually don't like those kind of things <coughs> because of the subtitles, or they don't like them because they're dubbed. Well, yeah, I, I like them. They're dubbed. I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a Fulci fan. Okay, I like dubbed. It doesn't bother me as long as I can hear 
what I, you know, I sort of have to fucking read them. Fine. It's just when it comes down to <laughs> Japanese and Korean films, um, I'm just going to go ahead and say this right now. Uh, anybody that has a problem with what I'm saying, you're probably taking it completely wrong. It's not you the way it. you're thinking I'm saying it. Uh, but they annoy me because, like, I can't take them seriously. I want to laugh at the actors. I want to I, I, I want to punch half the fucking actors in the face. Um, they're, they're so, like, it's like I hate anime for the same fucking reason, okay? I fucking hate the the... The, the weird fucking expressions on their face, the, oh, 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 oh. like, I just, I don't, I can't. <laughs> oh, no, oh, 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 like, I just, I don't, I just, I just can't do it. it it's Is nothing against. So you haven't watched Cowboy Bebop, have you? Yeah. No. It's not, it's not anything against, <laughs> it's not anything against the, the culture. It's not against any of that oh, stuff. I know, I know what you mean. It's just, I, I just, mean. me personally, when I watch these movies, I don't take them seriously. It's hard for me to take them seriously. Train to Busan, good fucking movie. That oh, movie, it yeah. took, it, I took way too long to watch that movie because of how I feel. I watched that movie and it really, I really love it. It's, it's, it's one of the newest movies I really love. Um, but I just, I can't, you know, it's like you get these motherfuckers on these goddamn movies. Um, they, they try to dress all cool and be like all badass. And like, it's like, dude, you were like the fucking nerd, like that, that, like just picked his boogers in fucking class and you know loved math. Like I just I I don't I don't know I don't I don't take you I don't take you you're not intimidating to me you know like you know no, I lo- this I, isn't the best you know I'm not, your description I just, of these movies are this is the best I know I'm, I'm laughing I'm great. Like, I just I just can't do it I can't it do reminds it. Just, me of a son- it reminds me of the Center Night Live skit with like the freaking uh, samurai warrior that uh. Oh, John Belushi. Yeah, goddamn. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so much cocaine. So much cocaine. Rest in peace to a legend. Oh, by the way, yeah. speaking of John Belushi, and I mentioned Fear earlier, uh, John Belushi got Fear to play on Saturday Night Live back in the day. Really? John, fear? John, wow. Yeah. They John Belushi. My band. <laughs> John Belushi. John Belushi was a big punk rock fan. Loved punk rock. I can totally fr- see that. And he was friends with these guys. And he was, and they, he actually got Lauren Michaels to be like, all right, fine. You know, it's like, it's kind of the thing right now. We'll, we'll do this. Um, fear goes on stage. It's, it was a Halloween episode. Okay. And fear goes on. They play two songs. They fucking wrecked the whole, like they were all drunk. They brought a bunch of punk rockers with them that are like moshing in front row and stuff. And like, everybody was like fucked up. They smashed the setup. They broke everything. And, uh, yeah, they were banned officially from ever being here. Saturday night again. <laughs> they were that actually totally escorted out. One point for them. They were escorted out by security after their performances. And nice. John Belushi, John Belushi got kind of a bitching from Lauren Michaels from it too. And then he just said, fuck it, give me $1,000 so I can go get high. Well, I will just say this once. <laughs> I fucking hate Lauren Michaels. He's a dick. So, of course, he doesn't like cool music. Just saying. He has Foo Fighters on there all the time. Just that 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 just shows you something. That he likes good music. Nothing against Foo Fighters. I I used to like. That. I just don't. Yeah, like it music. sounded like you didn't like the Foo Fighters there, bro. It kind of sounded like you were talking shit about Dave and the boys, man. I, again, <laughs> I like him as a person. I just don't care for their music after like their early like, stuff. Like speaking of Dave, I want to see this fucking Ritual Six 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 movie. Oh, oh dude, yeah. yes, that it movie looks like funny as shit. Apparently, he put out a Death Thrash song that sounds pretty sweet. I need to check that out. Dude, you do. It's fucking... Chad, have you heard this shit? I haven't heard it yet. Oh, my God. It will it's, blow your fucking mind. It's like, wow, Foo Fighters can do anything. Well, no, no like, he's I talented. I for that like a few minutes ago, and then I saw like the next link was to that song, and I was like, fuck. And then we started this. But but no, he's he's talented as shit. I I'll I'll give him that. It's just some of the music that they play, I just don't think is like <coughs> to me. Well, I, I I don't enjoy it. I prefer the older stuff. I really do. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I mean. But he he does. But Foo Fighters come out with stuff that that I I, I enjoy still. You know, no, I have a lot of respect. I, I have a lot of respect. I have a lot of respect for Foo Fighters, man, for a lot of different reasons. See, I never really and, uh, got into them till later. All because yeah. I was one of those guys that was like, this dude just trying to get over on Kurt's, you know what I mean? His and that wasn't the case fame. at all. Yeah, everybody thought that. That's that's why he didn't when he when he recorded Foo Fighters the first out al- the first album. It was he does everything on it. He does, and he doesn't. He didn't. 
he didn't say that he was a part of it or nothing like that for a while. He was afraid to put the album out because he was doing stuff before, like Kurt died. Yeah, but he was. but he wasn't. It was just kind of just whatever. And after it's Kurt died, said. you know, he was afraid people were going to be like, "Oh, you're just he's just riding the coattails." I remember watching that documentary they put out a few years back. Uh, which one? There's a bunch of them. It was remember he was doing that song with uh, I should have known or whatever with Chris Novoselic. Oh, oh, the uh, the sound uh, the sound city documentary. It might have been. I don't remember. Because he he had a collaboration with Fear and like Trent Reznor was in there randomly and I'm just like of course Trent Reznor's in this. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So Fear's in that too. Yeah, the Sound City documentary is crazy. It's like Trent Reznor. Mm-hmm. Fear. I need to watch that. I've been wanting to watch it. <laughs> a bunch of other random bands. You're just like, how the fuck does this work? And then, then you listen to the, like the soundtrack, and I'm like, this really works well. It wasn't oddly was enough. Torn oh, oh, okay. First yes, off, let's, let's, let's just go ahead here and just tell the, the crowd we were trying to see how many times we can mention fear in the show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that not really, obviously, but that's really that just goes to show you it's you should listen to Walmart fear movie from the nineties. Yeah. Cool. yeah, there's no there's no finger on a goddamn roller coaster in this one, buddy. <laughs> there's there's fisting when it comes to fear. <laughs> there's fisting when it comes to fear. That's well, what you said. Have, a beer. <laughs> have a beer with fear. Can, can the episode title be fisting with fear? <laughs> I think it's yes. Good. It can be. It can be. Dave's going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I know you missed another one. He gets so mad, too. Like, after he listens to him, he's like, God damn it. Yeah. He's he's like, 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 man. Uh, he'll, he'll get over it soon enough, and then we'll, we'll get back to we'll get back to the norm. Um, we miss old Dave being on the show. But we probably, of... do, we probably do have to wrap this up. I don't think anyone else wants to hear us drone on for another hour. <laughs> but why not? I've still, I've still got three I'm beers. Sure they're going to be fisted. <laughs> so, all right. So let's look, let's <laughs> let's oh, let's recap real hell. quick. Let's let's <laughs> recap real quick. Okay, the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre is possibly going to be fucking shit. Um, next week, we'll fight on next week. Yeah, um, we'll next week, we'll we'll also we'll all give our uh, thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, that that's how we'll start the show next week. That's we'll that's that's what we'll do. Evil will die tonight. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Did it suck? <laughs> yeah. So, so Texas Chainsaw Massacre might suck. Uh, Fear is one of the greatest punk bands of all time that you should listen to. What else have we learned tonight? Oh, uh, watch Bel Air if you really want to get fucked up from your childhood. Um, uh, you should watch Peacemaker because apparently it's really good. Apparently, um, it's amazing. Don't listen it, to him. I, I, apparently, because I haven't seen it. I'm not saying it's bad. I have never seen it. If you haven't seen um, The Lighthouse, watch it. The, the yeah, Lighthouse. Watch The Lighthouse. What, what, what else have we learned on this episode, guys? Billy Zane's a genius. Billy Zane's a genius. He's a very underrated actor. Exactly. Um, and, uh, and, Fisting and, we can't figure, and what? <laughs> Fisting with fear. Fisting with fear. Love it. Love it. Call it Dave and the Fisters. Dave and the Fisters. <laughs> the Fister Sisters. Oh my God. <laughs> Twist We're it and fist it. To fist it. No, we are not going to fist it. <laughs> We're not going to fist it anymore. Ow. Perfect. Perfect. Andrew, why don't you go ahead and take us out on that note? Okay. And on that note, uh, I think it's uh, ready to kind of clock out and everything. So uh, tune in next week as we decide to say if the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre is yay or nay. I guess that can be a segment of the show. Yay or nay. Yay or nay. But uh, on that note, fisting with fear. Yep. Fisting with fear. Fist it.